At the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of observation and reflection in early childhood education and will be able to confidently answer the following questions. What does observation entail in early childhood education? Why is observation important in this setting and what roles do practitioners play as it relates to observation? We will also look at a scenario that resulted from lack of observation and give solutions to the problem. Finally, we will analyze three observation techniques that were used during our practicum experience that helps with observation of children, classroom environment and parent-teacher interactions. Observation is more than watching children. It entails, among other things, careful attention to details in the environment, learning into the environment, observing with knowledge of child development in mind, and documentation. In the early childhood setting, observation entails in an age child's unique personality. Thus, the observer has to focus on the holistic development and knowledge of the child, which is social, physical, intellectual, cognitive, emotional, spiritual, and cultural. Another aspect of the observer is the observation of the gross motor skills, which include the entire body movement. This entails strength exercises such as, but not limited to, running, jumping, climbing, and hopping. Created using Powtoon.